During the World Cup of Hockey, Austin Matthews dazzled Elliot Friedman along with the entire hockey world with a cool little trick that he did in warm-ups. The move originates from floorball and is known as a Zorro move, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Let's go. First off, there are three ways to do the move, so I'm going to break it down in order of easiest to hardest. For the beginner move, we press down on the backhand and put the puck on its side. To do this, press down with the heel of the backhand of the blade and press down on the correct place on the puck. Make sure that you are pressing down on the back end of the puck so that only a little bit of the front of the puck is showing. You want to cover as much of the puck with the back hand of your blade as possible without any of the puck sticking out of the back side of the blade. You will know that you have the blade pushing down over the right spot when you can press down on the puck and keep the top half of the puck off the ground for as long as you want while applying downwards pressure to the bottom half of the puck. Press down, then rotate the top wrist while pressing down on the bottom half of the puck to flip it. Your blade will form a wall here. Be sure to rotate the top hand enough so that the puck can flip up and stay there. Too little rotation will cause the puck to go back down to its starting position, and too much rotation will make it difficult to settle the puck down on edge, and may also flip back down when attempting to settle it down. If you're doing this at a standstill, just let the puck sit there, and if you're doing it at speed, just let the puck roll on its edge, and get the toe of the blade to catch the side of the puck as you rotate the top wrist around in a semicircle. The bottom hand should stay loose to allow the shaft to roll through the bottom hand. This will allow you to get the range of motion needed to complete the Zoro move from side to side. Make sure that you go at a consistent speed and angle or else the puck will fly off the blade. Now the second way to do it is to press down using the toe of the blade. Now this is like the classic scoot play, except instead of using the heel, we're putting it in the toe and the puck never actually comes off the ice. So what happens is we press down on the puck and when we rotate our top wrist around, the puck goes on edge and we keep it in the Zorro as we go from side to side. Now for this method, we want the toe to pretty much cover the entire puck. You have to be very low in your stance to allow your top hand to get low enough to achieve this. Again, you will know you are over the correct surface area on top of the puck when you keep the puck on edge for as long as you want to while applying pressure downwards. So once we have it over top of the correct side of the puck, continue pressing down as you slowly lift the puck on its side as you rotate around in a semicircle. Remember to keep the bottom hand loose as you rotate the top wrist. And lastly, the most difficult way to do it, which is the way that Austin Matthews does it, is he actually digs under the puck to get the puck to lie flat on top of the forehand side of the blade before he begins the rotation. Your blade needs to form a big ramp, which will ultimately dig under the puck and cause it to sit on your blade. So make sure you get the top hand low and dig right under it. You want the pickup to occur as close to the toe of the blade as possible. Right when the puck lays flat on the face of the forehand side of your blade, you can begin the rotation process. Remember that this is a move that originated from floorball. The first time I ever saw it done on ice was by Tara Vinen, who is actually a big floorball player. He ended up playing for Finland at quite a high level. Floorball is also pretty big in Switzerland, so it doesn't surprise me that Matthews picked this up. 
The skill is often called Zoroing because in floorball some players have a special blade that has a pocket in the toe that allows them to pick the ball up. This is called Zoroing or air hooking. However, this is also a skill that can be done in floorball without the use of a Zoro blade. You can do this with a regular blade without the pocket as well if you get the technique down. The blade must rotate at the same speed as the ball travels to keep the blade angled so the ball is tucked away in the toe. You can also pick the ball up once you get better at opening up the blade at the right time. For any beginner who wants to do this move on the ice, I definitely recommend getting the form down using a floorball stick. It's the easiest way to practice the proper rotation while keeping the ball in the toe pocket. You can do it with a Zoro blade or with a standard blade. Plus you can do lots of cool tricks in your free time. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, so maybe you're not as good as Austin Matthews, but with practice, hard work, and focus, you can say you too can do a useless move in warm-ups to earn the respect of your peers. Keep working hard out there, and remember, once you get the hang of it, there's always room for innovation. This is just the beginning. Oh.